right so i'm gonna start off by pretty much showing you guys what i make for breakfast so here you'll see me gathering my raspberries my bowl my yogurt and my naked drink so i'm actually gonna start by rinsing my raspberries off just to make sure they're nice and clean I'll use Gil Play, the original, because that's honestly the best brand I feel like. So I just scoop that into the bowl, and then oh, I'm also using these cinnamon oat clusters. And you guys, I tell you, these are the best. They are the absolute best. They have chia seeds, flax seeds in them, um, and different types of nuts, which are really good and add that flavor to my bowl that I love. Also, I want to throw in here just to stay hydrated throughout the day. Make sure you're getting at least your half of your body weight in ounces a day. I typically try to do a gallon, but that's just me. So stay hydrated, you guys. All right, so this is what a pretty wholesome, normal breakfast for Lexi Lori looks like. Um, nothing too crazy. Just some yogurt, some raspberries. Oh, yeah, and it also has flax and chia seeds in it, which also helps to curb your appetite so that you're not eating as much throughout the day. So definitely try out these. If you are looking for something to eat for breakfast, if you're trying to get away from eating huge breakfasts, because that's something that I used to definitely struggle with, eating pancakes, um, sausage eggs, with cheese, grits, all that in the morning, just like often. So now I pretty much stick to a small breakfast and it gets me through the morning, so. I'm gonna go eat my breakfast and read my word and I will see you guys a little later. So, I feel like I look like somebody from like the 80s or 90s well, <laughs> with the hair and the twist and then this going on right now, but, Anyway, it is snack time now, y'all. It's a couple hours later. Today, I decided that I'm just going to have some fruit. Um, I actually have it right here in the container. I have some strawberries and some grapes. So, I'm just going to be snacking on this, y'all. And that's going to be my snack for today. And I'm also about to prep dinner, too. So, then later, me and my husband, we can have our food ready. Have it all good to go um, by the time it's dinner time. We're eating healthy to keep our energy levels up. Because, as you guys know, when you eat healthy, your energy levels go up. If you guys are wondering why I didn't eat lunch today, that's because I had breakfast kind of late today. It was like 11, um, and I normally have a little earlier, so I'm actually not that hungry for like a whole meal, so that's why I'm just eating fruit right now, and then I'm gonna eat later, around like four or five-ish, and that'll be like my dinner for the day. But yeah, so let's go. So now it is time to start prepping that dinner and I'm just getting my meal out for the day. As you guys know, I do a meal kit delivery service. Get all my ingredients together and then I'm ready to start cooking. in the pot boiling right now i'm about to get started on the corn and the chicken which is gonna be cooked on the top of the stove but yeah so this is gonna be our dinner for tonight it's pretty much gonna be let me show you this is not sponsored by the way but it's pretty much gonna be like a chicken corn and mashed potato type dinner just like an old home style kind of food which i love that's why i picked this y'all i just want to say this food sounds delicious and i cannot wait till it's done because that's gonna be our dinner for later and my husband he's always hungry he gets home so i know he's gonna be ready to eat and yeah Alright y'all, so now my chicken is cooking uh, now. I have them in there with all the ingredients. So for coating my chicken today, I used pinko, I used Dijon mustard, I used salt, and I used pepper. So I'm just going by the recipe. It seems like it's going to taste good, so I didn't want to stray too much from it. But what I would normally use is probably like some papaya or something like that on it, and then some salt and pepper um, to season my chicken. Nothing too crazy, nothing like over the top because we are trying to eat healthy <sighs> my husband's here now he's making fun of me leave me alone mm. <laughs> so dinner will be done soon so we're excited to eat this it smells so good y'all from my perspective so i'm just ready to eat it all and i haven't had corn and mashed potatoes in so long together that's like my favorite combo too so as you can see i get excited about my one large meal of the day which is normally dinner time um and we don't eat too late we try to eat before 6 ish p.m 6 7 p.m um, most times latest that time earliest probably like three 
but I don't like eating early because I still be hungry. So let's finish cooking this food and I'll see y'all in a bit. Gotta love a nice clown moment. It wouldn't be me if I didn't do this in the video. Y'all flipping the chicken is literally the worst part. Like I hate getting popped and I'm gonna get popped today. So now I'm cooking up the corn. I'm actually throwing some green onions in there, which made it so good and a hint of flavor that we needed on top of all the other goodness. And this is the finished product, y'all. It tasted delicious, but you'll see that. All right, y'all, so this is the finished product. I have the mashed potatoes with the green onions and then I have the buttery corn, oh, so good. And then the chicken with this like honey butter dip stuff on top, healthy dinner for the win. So I'll come back to you guys in the center time and I'll talk to you soon. All right, y'all, so I'm sitting here eating the food and I also got an iced tea as well. Um, I just wanna show you guys literally everything I eat today because I don't wanna like, you know, leave anything out. How's the food so far? I love it. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, definitely one of my favorites. Out of all of them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been trying these for like maybe like three-ish weeks now. This is definitely one of my faves out of all of them. Yeah, this one and the like the shrimp thing that we had was really good. So, so we're gonna finish eating our dinner and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. We're actually about to be headed out because we're actually going somewhere tonight. We're going to like a little Bible study thing. Um, but most times after dinner, if I don't have it directly after dinner, I'll have it like a little bit after. I'll have like a little snack, nothing too crazy, nothing too heavy. This is something like I would pretty much eat. And I'm gonna take this to go because we have to leave. And of course my water because I have to finish this, y'all. I've drinking all of this so far today. And it is a little bit after five now. So almost six actually. So I definitely have to finish the rest of this before tonight because I've been kind of dyslexic, but I've been doing pretty good in my eyes. So I eat like one of these chewy bars by the Grand Oats, whatever they're called. They come. It's by the people who make the oatmeal. Y'all know who I'm talking about. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish this for the day. Um, and I, I don't know if this will be the last time I eat today, but because I already had dinner around like five-ish, um, I should be good on food for the rest of the day. As you guys can see, I don't eat a lot. If anything, I probably have two solid meals a day, which is breakfast and then dinner. Um, because my breakfast is normally a little later, because I'll wake up like five or something like that, and I won't eat until like 11-ish, like 10, 11. So that's why I'm normally not like hungry by the time it hits like one two for lunch so i just wait to eat for dinner um and then i'll just have like a little bit of you know healthy snacks in between so that's what you guys will pretty much be seeing if i eat again today is like a another form of a healthy snack just to like you know hold me over until of course bedtime and then after that i don't eat again until the next day so we're about to head out so i will see you guys uh, anyway it is now like what time is it is? it's like almost nine o'clock now so i'm about to have my last meal of the day I say meal lightly because I know I shouldn't be eating this late, but this is me giving you guys a genuine what I eat in a day because this is literally my diet. Like I don't want to sugarcoat anything. I know there's some gaps that I could be doing better in and that's a given, but I do want to be honest with you guys and show you my journey of how I'm, look the rain is like hitting the window so hard, but how I'm continuing to grow in my healthy eating journey that it's not a wake up one day, you're just eating better, you're eating healthy, yeah. But it's a continual growing process. So I'm showing you guys. I know, right? It's getting hard. It's raining out there. It really is. He's washing dishes right there. That's why I see him. But yeah, so today I'm going to be eating some Cheerios. I switched to these about a couple weeks ago. And I've just been, whenever I get that craving for some milk and cereal, I recommend that we get at least eight ounces of milk a day, which is kind of unrealistic for adults. Kids, yeah, but adults, it's hard. But I typically get mine by eating my bowl cereal. At least once a day, I'll eat it early or... I'll eat it like my last meal of the day, even though I had dinner at like five. Eat this last meal and I will talk to you guys. To mention, but I chose the cereal because it was good for people who had high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and heart disease issues. So, I definitely wanted to support the foundation for the Honey Nut Cheerios because I feel like it's a great cause and it doesn't taste that bad, especially if you're trying to eat cereal but in a healthier way. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day. If you want more videos like this, definitely give this video a thumbs up so I know you guys actually enjoy this type of content. And if not, it's okay, it's okay. Just, just keep your thumb to yourself, okay? <laughs> Be nice. So yeah, I love y'all and I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye. Oh, by the way, I have a shower cap on because I literally just got the shower and I was doing my makeup and I was like, let me actually show them what I'm eating for breakfast because that's the point of this video. So we love a shower cap. <laughs>